happiness and peace be blessed by the divine salutations to my master dear brothers and sisters good morning to every one of you really it is nice to be with all of you today we have to run like a horse to get success and after getting the success we have to run faster than horse to maintain that success what we have achieved this is what one great scholar had said about success success is not just like that we are going to get it we have to go and get that success is a science if you have the conditions you get it how to get the conditions for success that is a today's topic for discussion simply what is true success what is success and what is true success and how to get true success or real success maharishi has given four simple uh, points and i interpret those four points in eight different dimensions each point two different dimensions so i am just going to share those four points with a fundamental meaning or primary meaning of that word and then the deep meaning of that word and if we can apply all the eight i'm sure every one of us can be successful in whatever area or whatever field we want now what is success according to oxford dictionary success is nothing but accomplishing my goal or my ambition or accomplishing something now when i look at that definition it is talking about something we achieve in our life in a typical indian movie every villain also is successful until the climax comes because whatever he wanted he is achieving it but whether really is it true success real success for him because at the end of climax he is really in jail or killed or his life is a disaster right we also don't want like that so success one advanced definition of success could be like this that success is not the result of any achievement success should be in the process of achieving something how we do it how happily we do it how joyfully we enjoy in doing whatever we wanted to achieve maybe that could be a little better advanced definition for success but the true definition of success or the real definition of success is whatever we do to achieve something that process of our efforts should bring not only happiness now even in future not only happiness to me now even to my family or my kids and not only to me the happiness even to the society so that it could be a the best definition of success success is whatever we do that should bring happiness not only now to future not only to me even to my kids or family and not only to myself and my family even to the society how to get that true or real success simply true success is everlasting happiness to myself and to the society the simple uh, we can take it like that everlasting happiness to myself and to the society is real success okay how to get those true success as i said marisi has given four beautiful points yeah uh, in fact in it is in tamil maybe if he is a native english speaker he might have identified some speaker but i tried my best to identify one word with two different meanings or you can interpret it in a, a surface level one and deeper level one i couldn't find the real equivalent word in english maybe at the end of the lecture you may be able to get something in your mind share with us at least i can use it for other lectures okay so the first point is in tamil it is called ormai ormai means singularity singularity <coughs> means the primary meaning for singularity i consider right now as the singularity as the equivalent word of ormai okay so the singularity means focus 
concentration now why concentration is required you know typical lens uh, sorry i think the meeting uh, i get a pop up message as uh, leaving okay uh, why the focus is important if i have a lens if i keep the lens in the sunlight down if i keep a paper the paper will burn it gets it catches fire because the energy in the sunlight is all focused through the lens on the paper and the paper gets the fire and that is a power of focusing all the energy at one point similarly singularity means focus focus means if i can put all my energy on that one thing which i want to achieve which i want to succeed then that is possible to achieve that that can get as success great uh, scholar vivekananda was asked a question what is the true secret of success how to get success you know what he answered take up one idea make that one idea your life think of it dream of it live on that idea let the brain muscles nerves every part of your body full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone this is the way to success this is told by great vivekananda take up one idea make that one idea your life think of it dream of it live on that idea let the brain muscles nerves every part of your body full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone this is the way to success so that itself talks about the first point of maharishi's formula for success which is focus concentration in zen philosophy they used to they they have lot of sayings lot of proverbs and they have a proverb walk while walking eat while eating that's it when i take a bath just do that why when i take a bath i should think about the meeting when which i am going to have it after two hours in the office or why not why so whatever we do if i have to get the happiness out of that efforts even now for future even for my kids even for the society then all the things dimensions will be covered if i walk let me walk only not do anything else so concentration focus everything is it really difficult for us to apply this not at all difficult because we used to and 15 years before uh, when i was in delhi i watched a hindi movie i still remember the dress the color of the dress and the costumes she the heroine had i could still remember and it comes like a flash in my eyes as if i am seeing as if i saw yesterday how come it is possible because i put all my energy while watching that movie not only my thinking process my eyes my ears all my senses everything 100% focused on that particular work if we can do it definitely we will be able to achieve success but not what we do practically speaking i want to reduce my weight yes single pointedly singularly i focus on my thoughts on that but in front of meals i forget that no no what for i am living if i can't eat what i want and how much i want i forget the whole that uh, target and i dilute my energy level and i do a wrong thing and then the achievement is not at all possible so even after eating heavy meal within 2 hours i get into a problem the happiness is gone in 2 hours time or not wait 2 hours after eating itself immediately i should have controlled myself why i ate the fourth chapati i should have stopped at 3 that itself spoiled our happiness so that is not true success okay so if i don't have that kind of negative thoughts normally wife many times many ladies they say that he will never change he she is talking about her husband yes he maybe he may not change at all but unless i keep that thought unless i focus on my energy that he will change how he is going to change and if i ask the uh, 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 gents husband i can't speak to her to win anything she is so good at speaking i i can't win 
forget about that i don't want to speak to her about this subject people are gents are afraid of convincing wife because they are very good they can remember 10 years before 20 years before they can compare here all analytical skills excellent there but so they fail so this thought itself again the energy is diluted wasted drained the focus is missing so how to get the concentration how to get the power of concentration like a lens how can i focus all my energy there this whatsapp alone if if i have the whatsapp that alone can dilute all our focus on any object even during meditation also there is a whatsapp can flash up our minds and spoil with hundreds of thoughts so it's a problem so we have to avoid whatever distracts us whatever you know divert us from our target our thought process so we have to avoid it the practices we have this nadi suti alternative nasal breathing with the mind focused on breath and with the with the erect uh, spine if we can do that practice every day and the mind focused on breath whether i am i doing right or wrong you should be able to feel what is happening inside you can feel it and if at least when i do that nadi suti so then if i can feel what is happening in my body how the biomagnetism is filling up when i do nityananda meditation or at the end of meditation how i spread my meditation energy throughout the body and it is being purified how i am able to feel it if i can feel that my energy is really you know to the sharp it is there means i am able to really concentrate that minute level of process within the body so nadi suti and uh, meditation silence proper sleep and games like chess some uh, even the puzzles uh, that cross uh, cross words you know those kind of things it increases our concentration the power of concentration so that we can try so the first point is singularity the primary meaning of singularity is focus concentration on what you want to achieve as vivekananda said put all the thoughts or entire muscles body everything let it speak about that single thing how it can happen that how it it may not happen it should it should happen at because magrisi said fraction demands totality supplies i have to demand with the proper energy that's it okay now the second point the first point is singularity and the second point is he says in, in tamil kurmai kurmai you know uh, sharp Uh, if i have an ox and if it is sharp i can cut 100 trees in a in a half an hour maybe if that uh, ox is not that sharp or the knife is not sharp i can't even cut the vegetables properly right that word literally it means sharpness but uh, what exactly he is meaning here to achieve success perspicacity perspicacity is a way of understanding clearly what is happening i need to understand with more clarity i just asked i just passed my comments to my wife wait wow coffee is so strong what did you put she said cement hmm why she says cement with an angry tone i just passed my positive comment that coffee is so strong very nice if i have this sharp sharpness or the perspicacity why is he is telling i put cement there in the coffee because she is fighting with the uh, gas stove as it is not coming properly and she is trying to fix that problem and i pass some remarks and her mind is focused on that and i am disturbing her so she passed that negative comment if i can understand on their shoes putting myself on their shoes then i pass here then the success is easy so the second step is perspicacity means how beyond the senses how i can understand things on others perspective not only my perspective what is their perception why they do like that what make them to do like that so all those things will help us to find a solution how i can overcome it and how i can achieve it so the perspicacity you know the there is a the we all know that in history we might have studied a great king called akbar akbar had a very um, intelligent minister called birbal okay so there are n number of stories about akbar and birbal and i'm sure we should 
uh, uh, read some of those and pass to our kids when, if they are young, not after, no, uh, not uh, when they are, you know, uh, um, above now. Even um, I will, I will share an interesting. Um, I just remember that, uh, you know, when my grandson, if he is doing some naughty things, I will, I used to call him. Now he is just a four and a half year old. I am talking about to two years before, three years before. I will, I will tell a story. If he has spilled the milk, for example, then I started with a story, and in that story, some idiot fellow who, who spilled the milk like that. We, I used to tell, and uh, some six months before, and he did something wrong at home, and I just called him, called him, come, come, come. I will tell you a story. I know, Daddy. I know, uh, Tata. What you are going to tell the story is some idiot fellow will spill the thing, right? I know that. So. I just called the called him and he is so smart. So these stories we can pass it until I think three years or three and a half years, not beyond that. Maybe after 10 years, it could be one year itself, the level of consciousness, the evolution process, so fast in the development of consciousness. So at young age itself, they become so smart. Anyway, so the perspicacity, the Akbar Peer Ball, and once uh, the some uh, scholar came from other country and they wanted to test the a level of intelligence of uh, the people in that particular country. So they, he told that I just to draw a line and, uh, uh, you know, uh, he just to draw a line and uh, he said, sorry, uh, he just to draw a line and he told the people in the uh, Sabha that uh, without touching it, I want this to be small. How can you do it? How can you make this line small without touching it? Now, including King and everybody is surprised how it is possible. This fellow is putting a question which is not possible. And everybody is now depending on uh, Birbal, the minister, to prove that we have some intelligent people, not only, you know, things like that. And this fellow went there and, okay, bring me a chalk piece. Okay, they gave me, they gave him a chalk piece. And then he draw a big line besides that line. Now that small line, what he put it becomes small compared to the big one. And the, the, the problem is solved. Now sharpness, how smartly we think to address the problem, to address the obstacles, what I have in my uh, life to achieve my success. So whatever obstacles we have it, it is given by the divinity for us to think outside the box and develop my, you know, uh, willpower, clarity or perspicacity and things like that. More we experience, better is our wisdom, our knowledge, right? Wisdom, actually. So the second point is perspicacity. Is it difficult to have this kind of uh, uh, clear understanding of what is going on? Of course, it is very easy because we apply it in our day to day life itself. Otherwise, we, would not, we might not be able to continue in any job for more than two years. I have a couple of people I know, they can't sustain in any job beyond two, hour, two, two years because they talk so many things, but in reality, the management will understand in a year, this fellow is just talkative and but not doing anything and they kick him out and next job, next job. Every two years, this fellow used to change the job because he doesn't have that sharpness to... Uh, you know, prove himself that, yes, he can add value to the organization where he worked. So uh, we have that sharpness in all our uh, life. How we have uh, that sharpness and uh, the lady tells to her husband that, see, I have done a sacrifice. How? Because uh, without seeing you, I agreed to my father that I will marry you. So really I sacrificed. Immediately, spontaneously, the husband says, I have done a great, great sacrifice. After seeing your photograph, I agree to marry you. Now, who has done the big sacrifice? Myself. Now, is the power of sharpness, the intelligence is great, but it is used in a negative direction to spoil the happiness. True success is, is enjoying the happiness, not only now, not only to me, even to others and future also. So the, if I have to have the true success, the perspicacity means the clear understanding of what other people are doing it and how I have to do that so that everything is enjoyable and everyone is enjoying that process, right? Okay, so we do have this perspicacity, but we need to develop more. How to develop my perspicacity, the skill of perspicacity? 
the deep understanding sorry not deep clear understanding of what is going on if i can keep my frequency below 14 cycles per second i understand understand if i have to understand i have to go under i i should not stand up if i stand i can't understand under go down go down bring down my bring down your mental frequency below 14 now i know why he is talking like that what is happening in his mind what is his problem and why he is shouting at me all that i am able to understand so to understand i have to go under my normal frequency range which is below 14 cycles per second for that i have to do meditation twice a day minimum half an hour 20 minutes at least unless i practice it sincerely my frequency can never go below not never you may not sustain, may not uh, sustain under below or uh, below 14 cycles per second. it may go but it will come back to from d25 and things like that so meditation below 14 cycles per second and introspection then only what is right what is wrong and all those knowledge is required explanation is required for my subconscious mind to convince and to transform to change and the brain network the neuron network in brain according to great uh, uh, people uh, scientists they say that we use only three to five percent of brain capacity and that too the five percent is being used by the scientists not by ordinary people like us so how can i make my mil billions of billions of neuron network energetic very simple pass the energy there how can i pass the energy there agna meditation turiya meditation enough because agna and turiya is inside the brain at the center of the brain and one inch above that center so all the parts of the brains are activated and this is proven by mri the scan of brain before meditation after meditation in 20 minutes of meditation the mri picture mri image of a brain clearly shows which area is excellent and which area is congested before meditation all the parts of brains is activated energized and become more efficient according to scientific evidences based on mri image of brain before and after meditation so meditation helps a lot in terms of my brain functionality also and silence higher the silence i can observe it my frequency will be permanently below 8 7 or 10 below 14 for sure so even one hour per day will help me to be in lower frequency even if i don't do the meditation after one year or two years it is possible because silence is such a great practice to remain below 14 cycles per second so that is the second point the first point is singularity and the primary meaning of that is focus or concentration the second is perspicacity the clear understanding of what is going on which is obstructing my process of achievement my process to uh, success so that's the second point and the third point is in tamil it says sirmai sirmai means perfection perfection means even if i make a tea that is the best tea anyone can make i have to make it so whatever i do whatever i have to do to be successful i do in a perfection with perfection i do the exercise I do hand exercise. Okay, when I do the hand exercise, my mind is focused on my arms. And what it is thinking, ah, my both hands are getting proper uh, blood circulation, air circulation, heat circulation, and every cell in my arms is activated, energized. With that thought focused on my hand, I do hand exercise. Perfection. Now, anything I do, if I can try my best to achieve perfection excellent actually there are some there are there is some saying by a great scholars that perfection is impossible perfection makes many people stressful which i have seen also even my i myself in my office only a couple of things i tell to my team <clears throat> that even if you can't do the job i don't care no problem you have to tell me that's it sorry sir i can't do this work or I, it will take two days, but you want it to know, you want it today. It is not possible for me. I'm very happy for that. But if you do it, perfect. No mistake in whatever you did. You do only 10%. I have no problem. I'm happy to do, I'm happy to accept it. But that 10% of the work, nobody should find any fault in it. This is what my boss told me when I first joined a company in Delhi. 
so perfection anything i do let it let let me put all my energy efforts there to be perfect whether it comes or not it is not in my hands but at least i have to put all my efforts to be perfect in whatever i do so and which that what my boss on mr ramani he told me and i am really i have been seeing the benefit of that simple concept which i have been following throughout my not only uh, in office even at home if my wife ask me to cut onion she will always uh, tells me that how i means not only i cut the onion and give it i wash that plate knife and everything will be in proper place and then i hand over and then i leave the place so perfection means anything i do let me try my best to be perfect may not be possible but we have to put all our efforts there so that is the uh, and and for to achieve that perfection i may have to develop my abilities my skills maybe some kind of training or whatever it is for example for my english speech i have been uh, one thing is bothering in my mind all the time about my pronunciation i wanted to join a pronunciation course to improve my pronunciation skills but okay due to time frame it is still in a pending list or uh, uh, outstanding uh, skill so i need to work on whatever abilities i have and how much i can improve on those abilities to reach the stage of perfection then success is certain for sure i will be able to achieve success okay so third point three points we covered singularity that means focus second is perspicacity that means clear understanding of what is happening and the third is um, perfection let my efforts be in perfection per, to, to, you know we try our best to be perfect the fourth one is nirmay in tamil i choose the word as integrity the primary meaning of integrity is here maybe integrity may not be a right word i don't know honesty let let us understand the meaning of the word nirmay honesty honesty means we know dharma dharma is the one you know in our shastras dharma artha kama moksha these are the four goals every human being should have it dharma after dharma only artha comes artha means my money my wealth my all my uh, materials everything uh, acquisition all those artha comes under artha and before artha i have to follow dharma dharma means righteousness what is right what is wrong what is the law according to law i follow i do everything i don't deviate any law i don't deviate from my dharma so that is called honesty integrity i, I put the word but maybe you can say as righteousness so the righteousness am i doing everything in a right manner or am i doing anything illegal which is not correct right even if the law doesn't say if i cheat somebody the law doesn't know or the person doesn't know that i cheated him but the god knows i am going to get punishment for that wrong doing and then that true success is not that is not true success it is like a villain in a movie so the the fourth point is uh, righteousness or or integrity so the righteousness is doing the right thing that's it doing the right thing and uh, what is right thing marisi has beautifully explained morality the word morality means whatever i think whatever i speak whatever i do it should not cause any pain to myself or others either physically or mentally either now or future those six dimensions are to be taken care of here that is morality and that is the righteousness if i can follow that whatever i do to achieve success i am sure that success is a true success otherwise what be you know there are there are some sayings that uh, some people can progress like a in jet speed they may progress but one day god will drop him from the top floor whereas if i do the right thing he may not lift me to the top floor now but he will never drop me to the ground floor so that i always either i, I don't go to the top but i always progress in my life right and that is the beauty of righteousness and people have said dharma is the only thing which i can pass it to my generation not anything not the wealth not the health not the anything else except the dharma the the the, the right deeds right so righteousness is the fourth point now we have covered four points one is singularity means focus and uh, perspicacity means 
clear understanding and uh, perfection means uh, doing doing perfectly whatever i do whatever i put my effort doing perfectly and the fourth is integrity which means righteousness doing the uh, right things right these are the four points on the primary level to be successful now if i go to the deeper meaning of those four words or the subtle meaning of it or the spiritual meaning of those four words then we get it to the another four points that will lead us to true success or real success let's go back to the first point which is called a singularity we said singularity means focus there is another deep meaning of singularity the singularity means everything is only one though i see necklace though i see bangles though i see jimiki though i see ring but everything is made up of gold it looks different to me but all are one material which is god which is uh, gold similarly whatever i have been seeing in this world everything is nothing but a manifestation of god in different forms that's it in different forms or different intelligence or different uh, uh, functionality but everything is made up of divine that is the first point singularity whatever efforts i do to achieve success if i can keep this at the back of mind that to whom i am dealing with it where i am trying it everything is divine with that background in my mind if i put my focus concentration on i have to make a tea okay if i put that concentration on to making the tea the tea will come the best right so singularity means only one in this world advaita philosophy you know the uh, maharishi follows advaita advaita means everything is one and it's a manifestation only we are seeing and looks different but ultimately it is only one so but you know maharishi has a, in another poem if everything is god if everyone is god and a snake comes to my room snake is also god or somebody is coming with a knife to kill me ah, he is also divine yeah, the knife is also divine oh no no everything is divine what for what i should do no what what is the right thing to protect myself i have to do it right everything is god everyone is god but at the same time i have to protect myself i have to protect my rights i have to protect my freedom my duty i have to perform and not somebody can kill me or anything i am given my sixth sense to protect all my rights and everything right so with that sense we have to apply that the basic understanding is everything is divine everyone is divine the essence of our puran puranas gita says if anybody can see uh uh in tamil it is it is easy for me anyway uh those who can see everything as divine he doesn't leave the divinity and divinity doesn't leave him this is the essence of the entire shastra right anyone uh, uh, no no the person who can see everything as divine he doesn't leave the divinity and divinity doesn't leave him so singularity means everything is divine all are divine divine is there everywhere divine is there everywhere and divine 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 that single thought at the back of the mind will help us to get true success or real success that's the first point sorry fifth point and the 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 fifth point there the second point is perspicacity perspicacity is a clear understanding of what is happening now the perspicacity means the deep understanding of what is happening i just passed a comment that coffee is so strong very nice what did you how did you do that what did you put in the coffee to make that so strong cement now perspicacity means she is telling a negative remark when i appreciate her because my karma i have to suffer now according to my karma because according what i did when my boss when i boss when my boss asked something i answered like that once so now she has to reply back to me with the nonsense remark when i appreciate her coffee so according to karma she is reacting now it is not the mistake of my wife if she doesn't do if she doesn't give me this pain this pain may come at my age of 85 or it may put me in icu i don't want it 
now when i am young let me go through all the troubles all the obstacles and clear all my negative karma so the mistake is not in my wife it is in my karma so the second point perspicacity means if i can understand deeply it is because of my karma this situation is created not by anybody else this is what i have to remember it the real reason for what is happening is my karma let me work on my karma i am not here to correct anybody else i am not here to manage anybody else these are the wordings of maharishi so let me work on my karma how can i purify my genetic center so that situation comes as i said in the starting success is a science if the conditions are met success will happen what condition now she is creating a painful situation i have to create a situation which is she is also happy i am also happy and we all are enjoying it right so that situation is created because of the manifestation of my negative karma so the second important point behind perspicacity is i have to change something now for whatever happens here the change starts from here not from outside that's the second point and the third one there is perfection now here the perfection means the deeper meaning of perfection spiritual meaning of the word perfection is yeah whatever happens around us it is happening in a perfect order according to law of cause and effect whatever actions i have done it the effect is happening now and the divinity is executing this process in a perfect order perfection the order of function in everything everywhere everything is perfect whatever happens around me it is in perfect order so the maharishi says in one of the poem the nature can uh, nature is a uh, big player nature is a major player in which he can throw me into pieces he can take me from one location to another location and he can disturb me like anything who in the world is born to blame him this is the li- last line who in this world is born to blame him I mean divine because he is executing everything in a perfect order we are not here we don't have the eligibility to blame him this this is what he says so the deeper meaning of uh, perfection is everything is happening in a perfect order i can't blame it i have to accept it i have to respect it that is the meaning of the word here Pers- perspicacity means i have to accept the law of cause and effect accept accept alone here accept and the fourth point accept and respect okay perspicacity means accept and respect respecting what is happening around me means what i can't find fault i can't object i can't resist i can't argue i can't scold i can't shout i can't get angry i can't insult them i can't ignore them anything i do it i am not respecting the law of nature the 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 third step i am failing here in perspic- in perfection so everything happens around me is in a perfect order i have to accept it and respect it this is the third point and the last one is integration sorry integrity integrity means wholeness oneness every already the first point is one but here integrity means uh, in football there are two teams right team a team b now team a wanted to put the goal on the other side and team b wanted to put the goal here here we we think everybody is on opposite team just because wife said that the coffee i put cement now she is she is with an enmity feeling for me normal man meets she is in the other opposite team integrity means no 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 she is not in opposite team she is in my team i am living for her she has been serving me only for my happiness how can she be in a different team opposite team integrity means we all it is like, for example uh, this is a, a, a remote a ac remote and uh, for some reasons without knowing it i throw it and it got broke and who broke it i broke it how i broke it this is the hand i put it this is my hand 
will i play hey what a hand you are you are stupid fellow how can you throw this do i play in this no because it is my hand and similarly what my wife says cement who is she oh she is like my hand she is part of me not she is not something different and she is in opposite not in opposite not in opposite team she is my part my family vasudeva kudumbagam everyone in this universe is my family not that my we follow everybody is in my family because we all are part of one umbrella right one divinity so integrity means we are not considering anyone as in the opposite team they are part of our team like my hand like my brother like my mother like my father not an opposite uh, another person if i think like that how what i will do i will not cut my hand for throwing this remote i am not going to do anything in fact what i will do similarly i have to protect that person who said cement and i have to nurture that person protection and nurturing is love and compassion and the fourth step integrity means they are part of me and now let me take care why they do like that let me protect them first my wife is upset because he said cement oh my god the stove is not proper and the flame is in yellow color it should be in blue color let me help her to fix that problem that is protecting and helping love and compassion should be my action and that is the eighth step under integrity so there are eight points there are actually four one is a singularity it has two meanings one is a concentration the other is everything is divine and the second is ormai kurmai kurmai is perspicacity perspicacity means clearly understanding from other points others point of view and the deeper meaning is everything is because of my karma the uh, uh, it, it is because of my karma they are doing that so my karma created that situation the my the situation is out of manifestation of my karma that is a deeper meaning of Uh, uh perspicacity and the third is perfection the first meaning of the primary meaning of perfection is my, the purpose of my birth is to attain perfection if i do exercise i do perfectly if i take bath i take bath perfectly anything i do i put all my energy all my thought process to do perfectly that's a primary meaning and the deeper meaning of perfection is according to law of cause and effect everything is executed in a perfect order there is no flaw in it so that is the perfection and i have to accept it and i have to respect it accept means happy for it what is happening respecting means i am not complaining i am not objecting it i am not resisting it and the fourth is integrity integrity means the primary meaning of integrity is righteousness doing the right things doing the dharma not illegal stuff and the deeper meaning of uh, integrity is they are part of me and i have to protect and nurture them and that is nothing but love and compassion whatever i do to achieve my success it has to carry the component of love and compassion in it even if somebody is telling cement i have to react in such a way with love and with compassion and then we will get true success right so these are the eight points which are required to get real or true success success is not about the dollar um, the uh, not about the not about the dollar uh, amount of dollar or not about the money not about the wealth and you don't need to be a ceo of any organization to uh, be successful i work all day every day to be successful is a story of life it is a typical lie that i work very hard to be successful not at all success is nothing to do with outside circumstances it is in the way how i do things so that we achieve means we enjoy and we make others also joyful not only now even in future in short success is not the key to happiness happiness is the key to success success is not the key to happiness happiness is the key to success such a true success let it come to every one of us with the prayer to almighty and our master i conclude my uh, small speech here thank you so much thank you